What's up guys? We're supposed to go to Spago, which is Wolfgang Puck restaurant, which I've seen like so many YouTube videos on and a lot of stuff. So I, I was kind of looking forward to trying it. But uh, you know, when I went to book a reservation online, it wouldn't let me do it today. And I thought, oh, that's real. Let me just stop by and maybe I can walk in. They're close for private van. So I, when I opened the door to the restaurant, it, there's a huge sign just right there says, close for private event. So me being the dummy I am, I walk inside anyway and we'll go up to the bar I'm like, hey, you guys are closing. He goes, yeah, I was like, eh. But the way they were pretty lax on the security, I feel like I could have just pretended to be part of the event. <laughs> so uh, there's a restaurant called uh, Dante, which is down the street, which is also looks very expensive. And they have artichoke and cauliflower on the menu, which are two things I can really eat. So uh, based on how my stomach has been, which is not too bad, I think we're still gonna play it safe. Um, so when I got back earlier, I took some masticum, and I was getting some heart palpitations, which usually can't eat it. So I, I took a jar of water kefir grains. I had like four ounces of water kefir grains. I feel a little better now. There's a, there's a sushi place over here. I don't want to do fish, because I don't, you know, fish is probably a bad idea, but I could use a little of my three. So this place is actually in a, looks like a nice hotel, but <laughs> they're closed for a private event too. So their restaurant on the ninth floor, which had a menu that I kind of liked, uh, is closed. And then I had another restaurant on the, uh, on the first floor and I went over and looked at the menu. It's just like regular kind of like Italian American stuff that I don't really want. I'm tempted to just go to that sushi place, Sugarfish. Uh, although that might be a bad idea because, I mean, even if, if I stick to the lean fish and just have white rice, I don't know, I never just sleep after I eat rice. I just feel like sushi is a bad idea. Let me look a little, I'll look, I'll look again to see if there's another place I want to do over here. I don't want steakhouse, bro. There's maestros right here. I don't want steak, I don't want steak, dude. I wanted like nice artichokes, Cauliflower, those are my go-to, artichokes and cauliflower. And bread, that's my favorite. All right, what well, might be good, there's an Avra restaurant just right across the street here. And I know from New York, I think I applied to work there a few times years ago. Just like really, really upscale, hip, trendy, uh, like Greek style restaurant that has fish. Uh, I think it's Tao Group. But the thing is like the Greek and Mediterranean fish restaurants compared to sushi, they don't use as many fatty cuts. Um, the fish is leaner, and they usually have the vegetable options I like, so that this should be a pretty safe bet. Because you go to sushi restaurant, you're getting tuna, you're getting salmon. I can't eat half the fish there. I'm actually worried. I think it's like really loud in here, so I'm probably gonna have to like talk right next to my phone every time. But it's like the, the restaurant's like huge. It's half full, so it's not crazy, crazy busy, but it's loud. Well, th Thursday night, and they could seat me table for one. I'm guessing if like you came here on Friday, um, you're probably not, probably gonna have to sit at the bar or something. But dude, for some reason, every time everything that Tao Group does, they just print fucking money. It's actually disgusting. It's actually kind of crazy. So you guys heard earlier, we don't do uh, bubbles. I like I like New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs a lot because my my sense of taste is terrible and it tastes like melon, so I like it a lot. Chardonnay's high alcohol is never much of a fan of. Like the oak flavor, I like more fruit. I might I might try the Riesling. Like the Sauvignon Blanc is like a safe bet. Like that's definitely going to be good. The Riesling I might like more though. This, this could be good too, because I, I like the Merlot Cab Franc blends. They're usually more fruit forward. Oh, I like Grenache a lot too, but that's Rosé. All right, we'll just do the, you know what? That might be okay. Lager. I think I'm gonna try the beer. It's a lager from Greece. That sounds nice. And then, uh, if not, we'll switch the wine. All right, this isn't as easy as I thought, so you guys know I don't do salads. I'm not doing caviar. Um, they gave some of the hummus here, and the hummus looks a little dark, but 
I don't need to order hummus if I have it. I want the chips, but it's a lot of chips. Like, maybe I'll get it, but you know what? Honestly, I shouldn't because it's probably fried in the seed oils again, so. I'm leaning towards octopus right now for appetizer. The rest of this is like fish and uh, yeah, it's mostly fish actually. I didn't think it was gonna be. They have raw bar, which I don't really do either. Sashimi, honestly, I kind of like sashimi, but like the flavor profiles of this, like I don't like cucumbers, I don't like citrus, I don't like chili that much, so. Then they got like chicken steak, lamb, wagyu. I don't want that. Um, not obviously not doing fries. That might be good. I'll just just eat the potatoes on that. Or you know, I think we'll that, I think we'll do that. That sounds good. Warm potato salad, and then we'll get something over here. Yeah, because these appetizers, the fish is like salmon, tuna, shrimp. I don't really feel like, uh, I guess I feel more like shrimp, but I'll see if it's wild caught shrimp. But even wild caught shrimp's bottom feeder. Um, the uh, all, all the main entrees salmon, halibut, swordfish, shrimp, sea bass, big eye tuna, lobster pasta. Can't have the pasta because of what's in it. Tuna is no go. Maybe sea bass is an okay idea, but I don't like it that much. The shrimp sounds good, so let me see if these are wild shrimp. Maybe we'll just roll with it. Swordfish, very polluted. Halibut. And so halibut's okay, but I don't like halibut like enough to, to pay for the restaurant. So that potato salad seemed like something I would like a lot. But I remember to ask her if she knew what type of potatoes they use. They put Yukon Gold. Now, Yukon Gold have beta carotene, which is kind of inflammatory to the liver. So, but like French fries and stuff, you know it's usually made with russet potato. But mashed potatoes and generally like potato salad this is a lot of time they'll use the yukon gold which you don't really want so if you can if you can verify that then it's probably a net neutral food you know whereas a russet potato or something you, you could are you could argue that it's healthier to have russet potatoes fried in seed oils versus a, a yukon gold just regular so it's the negative health effects on the body of excess carotene versus the seed oils it's you know pick your poison kind of thing so they have a, a greek water here a greek beer maybe they think i'm greek i'm a little too italian looking this is a lager and then we'll have some of this for the appetizer i ended up ordering the i ordered the chips and some grilled shrimp so when they do this it's chickpeas instead of uh, the beans and stuff I usually like, but it's still okay. I just try to avoid the middle stuff and this. Oh, this might actually be tuna. Now, now pertaining to the vlog, I got like a perfect spot. I'm in like the corner against the wall, not bothering anyone. Well, it's kind of loud next to me, but that's about it. So this is, I think tuna. Oh no, that's not tuna. That's a red pepper, I can't have that. <laughs> we were close, bro, we were close. That's funny. Yeah, like why would they give you a slice of tuna for an appetizer, right? This is like a really dry flatbread. The tahini is very seasoned, so you know, even if you're not a fan of what's in it or something, you don't have to use a lot of it. I mean, from a liver detox perspective, this is why I eat every day for lunch. I literally have bread with white bean puree. So it's pretty close. But a lot tastier because that's what the chef's here for. <laughs> this is okay, actually. It's really plain and neutral, which... 
Yeah, it's super plain lager beer. What's up? It's nice. The less bitter, the better. Move you guys a little bit. That's probably better. I'm gonna fill up on my bread, bro. This is, but it's not a bad idea because I didn't order, like I just ordered basically veggie chips, which I didn't say I was gonna order because they're probably fried in oil, but and shrimp. The other pitas were good. This pitas for some reason is dry. Maybe even a little stale, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Alright, so we got a giant plate of fried eggplant and uh, fried zucchini. Which, maybe not the best choice, but... Like the only thing on the menu that wasn't fish. These are like a little greasy, so I'm actually kind of worried for my stomach now. So this is like tzatziki in the middle, which I'm not going to have because it's dairy, but... It's like... I just want to change the pace. And I can bring these home to the nurses. They'll love them. Now that I think about... Did I say cucumbers? It's zucchini in eggplant. So I got my, uh, I got my B1 and Mastic again. Might help a little bit. These are like a little undersalted. I'm actually so full. I'm so full. I guess I didn't really digest my even my lunch yet. And water keeper grains? Water keeper grains can really suppress your appetite. I'm not even eating the eggplant yet. Eggplants are on the bottom. Yeah, I, uh... I like the eggplant a lot more. It's good. I'm just gonna have one more piece because I don't want to be sick. Although I'm probably already gonna be sick. Yeah, bro, this is for like, this is for like three people minimum. Minimum. Uh, can you just have her get me a uh, glass of the Sauvignon Blanc? Glass of Sauvignon Blanc? Yeah. Yeah, so beer's okay, but Sauvignon Blanc tastes way better, so we're gonna get that. We'll take our chips home for our girlfriends taking care of us. I'm looking forward to the shrimp, and then I think I'm gonna take a look. Hopefully, they have something decent on the dessert menu. Or, uh, well, maybe we'll have some dessert wine or something. This is like, like a really, it's kind of like a hip and trendy place. Like, business people go here, like, 
people love doing birthdays here. It's just like I'll put up some pictures of um, I'll put up some pictures of it because I don't really want to take photos. Anymore. It's good. I'm gonna take. I'll take home for my some home for my girlfriends. No, I said it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. I don't. I don't like Sean Okay. Yeah. 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 So, I don't think I ever made a video on this, but a, a big factor in a lot of your senses are in like physical development. And like a lot of people know, like one of their friends or someone that is like really good at smelling stuff. I knew it, I, when I was a bartending at this cocktail bar, the chef, he had this wicked sense of smell where he could like, if a girl ate onions and walked past him, like 10 feet away from him across the street, he could smell the onions on their breath. Like human, humans are actually supposed to have like a sense of smell like as good as drugs and stuff, like almost. But because like parts of our brain don't develop and like there's a lot of like injections and stuff we get growing up that inhibits our, our natural physical ability. Um, like someone like me, I don't have much of a sense of taste. So you always hear people like when they drink wine, they talk about, oh, I taste, I smell raspberry, I smell leather, I smell my girlfriend's panties from 1945 that she left in an old wooden crate, like stuff like that. I don't smell that. I can only like, if it's a really prominent taste or smell, I can do it. Like if it's a really melony, like not melony, my girlfriend's name, melon E, the fruit melon. If it, if the wine, like New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc are known for ta having like a very, very strong melon flavor. That's what I like because I can actually taste something. Like some, um, there's a French wine, Chateauneuf du Pop, which is usually really, really fruit forward. Um, another one I like is, is Gr Grenache. Uh, not, I think it's Grenache from Beaujolais. I think Beaujolais wine is used to make Grenache grapes. That's a really fruit forward wine that I can like actually taste and like. Or we could just chug this bottle of olive oil they give us. See, it's a birthday. I was right. I mean, I guess saying it doesn't matter because I, I'm worried if it's actually too loud in this restaurant for me to even use this footage. Then we're kind of shit out of luck. This is actually kind of cool. So it's it's huge grilled shrimp. And then this is some type of, uh, it's almost like an eggplant lasagna because they use bechamel. Now I asked her, is there a lot of bechamel in there? Because I don't like doing a lot of dairy. Now, conventional dairy sometimes isn't actually that bad because um, there's not much in it. So I'm not too worried about it. So on one hand, shrimp, shrimp is like, it's honestly, it would be a really good protein for this type of liver detox diet because it's very lean. It has almost zero fat and it's high in cholesterol. So you're getting a lot of choline. Unfortunately, shrimp are bottom feeders. So like you're worried about the pollution concerns with them. But once in a while, it's not a bad idea. I wonder if this chef got yelled at once for using too much salt. They're good. The temperature is nice. They're they're like they're cooked throughout and then Oh the end piece. End piece is still in the shell a little bit. I don't know about that. Oh the worst one. Bro, this is, it's insane. It's like drinking melon juice. If you guys have never had a, a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, bro, I can't smell a dead dog in a sauna. And I can smell the melon in it. Bro, you don't even have to smell it. If you just wave the wine glass by your face, you smell melon.
I like that a lot. That's kind of been my go-to wine now. So shrimp's pretty good. I honestly, I'm not sure what's in this. I see eggplant, I see bechamel. Tastes really fucking good. Which means I'm probably eating too much dairy. <laughs> it's like it's like a really delicious eggplant lasagna. Yeah, that's like it's delicious, but this is dense. Oh, you guys even see what I'm eating? Would you guys rather see my cross-eyed face or the food? Honestly, fifty dollar entree, this much food is actually pretty good. Now, very good, very good. On this, um, the shrimp, this end piece here with meat in it, it's not like de-shelled, but this is. So, I don't know. It probably needs to, uh, probably needs to, to stay there to hold the whole thing together. But that piece of meat isn't too hard to get out. If you can do it with a knife and fork that easily. But this is, um, yeah, I think, honestly, I don't think this eggplant is, um, is that bad. It just might be a little high fat. It's so fucking good, though. It's basically like ravioli that I'm allowed to eat. No tomato sauce. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this like eggplant bechamel ravioli, probably the best thing I've eaten in a few weeks now with my restrictive diet. It's like I wear a hat. It's, it's like I look like I'm trying to be mysterious, but I just don't want my brain to be as fried as it normally is. <laughs> Oh, so I've been taking a lot of Ubers, and when I take a Tesla without my headnet, I feel so nauseous and sick. But I tried putting a headnet on for the Tesla drive here, and um, I was okay. It wasn't that bad. But for some reason, every other cuck in California drives a Tesla, and it's. I said it in the previous restaurant vlog. The fucking microwave, dude. These Teslas are cooking people. It's insane how nauseous I get in these Teslas. But the, the head net helps, so it has something to do with the radiation. I like shrimp. Honestly, shrimp might be. Shrimp is always tasty. And I'll say it again with this. This eggplant, this eggplant bechamel is phenomenal. I'm probably gonna sleep like a baby after eating this. Man, you know, you know my brain's quick when I am questioning if I remember what's in a bechamel or not, but I'm pretty sure it's just butter, flour, and milk made into a sauce. So pretty basic. But it's nice to have 
Like, obviously, you don't want to do this every day, but it's nice to have, like, just to increase the saturated fat intake for a day or two, you know, it's, it, it's beneficial. It takes some stress off the body. You know, your, your organs aren't trying to metabolize carbs into fat anymore because you have, you got to think about it. Like, every single nutrient your body is made of, the body needs to synthesize it. So if you're on a low-fat liver detox diet, your body still needs to maintain its fat cells and the, all the all the lipid molecules. So stuff like this once a week, if anything, is only beneficial. Even if it's with conventional dairy, even if it's mildly inflammatory, it's probably better than not. But but don't overdo it and don't combine it with the wrong foods. Like in this plate. The only negative thing might be the pollution in the sh in the shrimp, which, to be honest, is probably not that bad. And the negative effects of the the um, the conventional dairy and the bechamel, but that's not a super huge concern either. You know, the main things, you know, vegetable seed oils are really bad. Super high amounts of shell like polluted shellfish are bad. The shrimp. Shrimp and lobster can be hit or miss, but like like mollusks, the filter ones are kind of scary. Those are kind of scary. Any raw bar stuff. I didn't really bring any clothes with me. I just have like my gray slack, my gray work pants, my sweaters, and my boots. If I have my shit together, I probably just wear like slacks and a bun down when I go out. But I'm too lazy. Yeah, this, um, I'll say it again, bro. This, this, uh, this eggplant bechamel dish. Made my night. Very good. Egg eggplants are pretty safe vegetable. I feel like a pig. I feel like a pig. You're good. Then? I was I was full after the chips. Oh, okay. No worries, <laughs> I'll have another wine, though. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, eggplant. I don't know why they left the skin on this eggplant. That's kind of weird to me. But, the, the flesh of the eggplant is white. And when something doesn't have color, it means, like, there can't really be that much in it. So, from an inflammatory compound perspective... Especially because eggplant is traditionally salted. It's a pretty low inflammatory vegetable. It's just, it's usually not calorically dense. So I don't eat it myself. Like, I don't know why I keep ordering water at restaurants when I never drink it. $8 bottles of water. Bro, we're doing United Nations. We had French for lunch. We're doing. Greek for dinner, so we gotta choose two other ethnicities tomorrow. I know, we'll see what happens. Well, I think I'm gonna lose my abs after eating this. I'll be happy if I never see another shrimp again. All right, thank you. See, this, this shit is hyper palatable. I'm stuffed like a pig, and I still want to eat all this eggplant lasagna. I'm gonna vomit, dude. Uh, did you guys know that when you put your knife and fork at like what is this, like between three and six o'clock on the plate, that means you're done from a fine dining perspective. Probably in some type of uh, 
fine dining etiquette book somewhere. And what's also in that fine dining etiquette book is how you're supposed to not wear a hat at a table in a restaurant or like dress up nice or like have your eyes be straight. But go figure. Yeah, like it, if you order alcohol and you don't like it, keep trying something until you like it. Like, no reason to drink. Uh, no reason to drink cat piss. White wine's probably the least one of the least inflammatory things you can drink because be beer is cooked grains and so, so there's a water source added to beer which is usually not filtered has fluoride chlorine like crap you don't want it so even organic beer is kind of out wine is made ju juice from the grapes so the juice from the grapes that are used to make the wine usually the fruit can only absorb so many toxins so wine is a very very and honestly, a much safer bet than beer. And li liquor is just, tequila, scotch is just concentrated alcohol. So it's probably not too high in toxins, but you got to usually put it on ice. And, you know, the ice is made with tap water. Because you try to drink something neat, like Don Julio, even Don Julio neat or like McAllen 18 need, it's still too strong, it's not good. So you gotta put it on ice, which then you're diluting your expensive, healthy, filtered, pure scotch with city water. It's kinda crazy, but when I open my bar and restaurant, we'll use like bottled water for the ice cubes. So wine is, wine is objectively like the healthiest thing to drink. Like, you should be able to drink a bottle of wine every night, really, without any issue if you're healthy. There was this, I forgot what, it might have been in the Weston A. Price book. It was like, the, this Georgian colony always lived to like 120 and they, they, well, they drank their own. They were actually making vodka from grapes. So it's all about the quality. But again, like, you're not gonna drink vodka straight up. Like, bring your own, bring your own ice cubes. B Y O N I C. B Y O I C. Boy, B O I C. B O I C. Sounds George, like a Georgian word, right? Bring your own ice cubes from the Georgian centenarians. Bro, imagine if I live to 120. Holy fuck. I'm 30 and I don't want to be here. I'm 30 and I don't want to be here. So that means I got to do this three more fucking times. Holy shit. If I live that long, I'll, I'll take over the world. But I don't know if I want to live that long. Should have had kids already so someone can replace me real quick. Because I've had enough of this shit. Bro, the, the, the waitress here, pretty face, very pretty. Not like stunning, but like girl next door, pretty, perfect, perfect, um, perfect face. And her, she's got a giat, bro. She's got a big tushy. I told you guys about like, I, I, I was with this, I had a situation with this goth girl once. And I, I was questioning my sexuality because she worked out in the gym. Her ass, her ass was so big. I was like, man. I finally got a big booty goth mommy and I don't care about it that much. I must there must be something wrong with me. There must be something wrong with me. There must be. Probably because I imagine every girl is fucking some seven foot tall gremlin dude, but whatever. Bro, I would have played I, I would have placed a bet that like, oh, they have to have artichokes on the menu, dude, but they don't. I don't know what's for dessert. Mm. 
N nice, nice Spanish, Mex probably Mexican kid in the bathroom. I gave him 10 bucks. Sweet guy. You know, you wish you could help everyone, right? Then when I was walking by UCLA earlier, some poor, poor girl in a wheelchair. Not 100%, but nice, nice Mexican lady taking care of her. Not to go too off track, but and hopefully I don't get, you know, when, when, when they say, oh, we're sending... 69 69 billion dollars to the ukraine it's fake they don't have that much money and if they had that much money they wouldn't be sending it to the ukraine because if if 20 dollars can change someone's fucking day there's no way that that much money exists to send to the ukraine <laughs> because even if we did send that much money there the whole place would be made of gold every single molecule in kiev would be gold the, the streets would be gold. The buildings would be gold and silver. The beach wouldn't be sand. The beach would be finely ground molecules of gold. And there'd be like thousands of tons and tons and tons of gold sand if we actually sent them that much money. They, the, the citizens of the Ukraine would have inhaled so much gold dust that their skin would shine like that. Would you like to see a dessert menu? Yes, please. Yeah. Right. Nice girl. Sweet. They must do. They must make so much. Even just the wait staff here must make so much fucking money. I thought you guys were Greek. She just left. I was making a joke. Because the first thing on this menu is baklava, which I can. Baklava, I can actually eat because I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's phyllo dough. That might actually have butter in it. Now that I'm thinking about it, which isn't that bad actually. It's basically butter, potassium, and honey, which isn't that bad. Olive oil cake, definitely not. Orange cake, no. Strawberry cheesecake, too much dairy. Pagotto and sor so. Usually I get sorbet, but sorbet is made with fucking. Fluoridated water. My brain's not working after drinking that Coca Cola, so. Oh, we have some Greek stuff on the Greek menu. Yeah, yoorti, my melt. Dude, every syllable. What, what's it called? A E I O U? Y? The word is spelled Y I A O U R. I think it's just missing an E. Yai A O U R T. Yaorti. Me, Millie. Maybe it's like a milfew, I don't know. They got chocolate cake, homemade ice cream, platter of fresh fruit. So fruit, fruit usually they do like, it's usually berries and stuff, so kind of high in oxalate, it's not the best idea. I think, well that's what sorbet they have, but we'll probably just get the baklava. Cause the outside of sorbet again is, is the water they use in it. So even if it's lemon sorbet, which is good. Okay. And then, uh, what fl what flavors of sorbet do you have? Uh, lemon, mango, strawberry, dark chocolate, coconut. Yeah, I'll just do the baklava. Yeah, it's great. You guys changed to Turkish restaurant? What's yeah. the deal? Exactly. Is the chef Turkish or something? Uh, he's actually Greek. Oh, ah, yeah, that's yeah. funny. Chef Christos. I'm busting her balls. Bak bak I'm ordering baklava at a Turkish restaurant. A uh, fucking Greek restaurant. I'm, they're so convincing, they confuse me where I'm at. But now she actually—you probably heard it. She, she, she said they have lemon and coconut sorbet, both of which I can eat. But there, there's a few fluoridated products might be worse than even seed oils because reality is, if you eat a few fried pieces of zucchini. How much, how much are you really getting? Let me just give you my card real quick. Thank you. If I had to guess how much we spent, oh fuck. Might actually be like almost $200. Cause j just the appetizer and entree was like 80. 
wine, beer, probably another 40, 120. It might not be that bad. It might be like 160 total with tip. 160, now 160 dollars is a lot of money. However, however, what the fuck just happened? I think someone. Is there itemized right here? Huh? Do you want to take me home? Thank you. Do you need a puppy? No, it's alright. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have it out soon. It's $200. $200, though. It's kind of wild. Prices have been going crazy. Look, $200. Appetizer, entree, three drinks, dessert. Half the price of like cuckoo, but the price, 200 is still kind of a cuckoo price. But, but, you guys wanted the restaurant vlogs. And if you want to get decent quality food, bro, you're spending, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this, uh, vanilla? Oh, vanilla? Oh, okay. So we got baklava, vanilla ice cream. Um, you know what? So I shouldn't... Obviously don't want to eat conventional dairy and eggs that much, but... A little bit won't kill you. So like, obviously, you don't want to eat the whole fucking thing, but... Like, eat the black blah, have a little bit of... Blah, 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 blah. Could have a little ice cream on each piece. Just don't overdo it. That's good. It's so sweet. Bro. I don't think I've ever had baklava. But. Crazy sweet. So like. Oh, they put. They put mastic in the ice cream. My man. Mastic. That's really fucking good. That's really good. Someone come up with a nickname, Frankie Frankie Fatso. If you haven't seen the movie Fatso, it's like from 1980 or some shit. Classic, classic movie. Bro, I could, I could eat like three more of these. Candida inside me wants more baklava. I wonder how they make this ice cream. Playing with a lot of vanilla flavor. It's kind of wild when, like, I don't really like for me two hundred dollars, bro. Like, I lose so much money on my business. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how can you lose so much money on your business every week from people just filing chargebacks that you could eat at restaurants a few nights a week and not fucking worry about it because like oh what's another five hundred dollars i lose so that was that was very good ice cream isn't that good on its own so that's that. Should we get our money's worth of the Greek water? Very good, thank you. What's your name? Isabella. Are you Greek? No. Italian and oh. Uruguayan. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, close. <laughs> it looks like it. We say our R's the same. Yeah, like these. So close. 
All right, guys, I'm actually filming this after we had dinner, but we landed on Avra Estiatorio. Estiatorio. This is a Greek restaurant, so. All right, guys, that's it for the restaurant vlog. I'm not gonna wander around LA for another two hours talking about random stuff and staring at girls. So, um, I feel okay, so hopefully we feel okay tomorrow. We'll do this again, get you guys a few more restaurant vlogs and uh, Figured if I do if I do four of them, and we post them every two or three weeks, maybe maybe we'll go to New York or something and do some more vlogs so you guys have them consistently. But uh, thank you guys for joining as always. FrankDevSafan.com to support all of my businesses. And on, uh, look, guys, I won't be doing. I wouldn't be doing these restaurant vlogs if you guys didn't want to see them because I don't want to. I, it's not, I guess it's not as much. About, it's not about the money as much, but I don't even like showing. Like for me, it's know how people struggle now, and I could be saving more money from my business too. But it's whatever at this point. I'm fucking over it. This guy's got a crane. They're putting a huge fucking cable underground. It's like. 10 30 p.m. on I guess it is a weekday night but why why is it so urgent that they're doing night work like this that doesn't make much sense right it's always sketchy shit going on concrete truck crane putting pipe putting I could be wrong that might not be an electric I mean it looks like there's electrical wires coming out of there I don't think I don't think that's plumbing I think that's electrical could be plumbing, I could be wrong. Maybe there's a water issue. Bro, I swear to fucking God, it's another Tesla. It's another Tesla picking me up. I'm getting fucking cooked, bro. I, next time I come, I know to rent a car because I don't want to be fried in the Tesla all day. But, um, I'm good. What the fuck? But then, like, where am I gonna park and shit? Like, can't believe this fucking doctor only fixed my right eye, dude. It's so ridiculous. Um, we're back here in this really nice house I'm staying at for three days. I'm just gonna have an apple and some mastigum just to get some like some organic food in my stomach. Probably just increase the gut motility, push things through, so I'm not like. Bogged up in the morning, still burping up wine and butter. <laughs>